dreamers, it's time for another mashup. We're taking our favorite Descendants girls and reimagining them as mermaids. Comment below with your favorite mashup or if you have any other mashup ideas. And subscribe for more videos like this. Speaking of our videos, let's get this one started. Let go. Starting off with Evie, the daughter of the Evil Queen. When we first meet Evie, she is a total heartbreaker. She even says that in Rotten to the Core. Which reminds us of Sirens, who would lure fishermen to crash their ships with their beautiful voices. And many people believe that Sirens from Greek mythology influence what we think of as mermaids. Oridon Evie probably wouldn't use her gorgeous voice to make sailors crash their ships, but she definitely broke a few hearts back on the aisle. Still, we think Evie would totally kill it as a mermaid. Of course, we mean that she'll look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Evie Evie's mean days are behind her. Speaking of being mean, next up is Audrey. She may not be from the Isle of the Lost, but she's got a touch of evil, don't you think? Totally. She lets her jealousy get the best of her and lashes out at the VKs. Like in Descendants 1, when she and Jane taunt the VKs for being, well, evil kids. Or in Wicked World, where she's always quick to blame Mal for anything that goes wrong. And we can't forget that Audrey might be evil in Descendants 3. Not only do we see her with some wicked hair, it also looks like she's holding a scepter. It's not just any scepter, it's Maleficent. And it looks like it has the dragon's egg. Now for the mashup. We could totally see Audrey as an evil mermaid. We could totally see her trying to lure Ben back to her, don't you think? Next up, we have Uma. Now we know what you're thinking. Uma kind of does turn into a mermaid in Descendants too. But she actually turns into a cicalia, which is half human, half octopus. So what would she look like as a mermaid? Like this. Yep, mermaid Uma would death use her powers for evil. True, she did use a spell to make Ben fall in love with her. And if she were a mermaid, she would probably use it for revenge. And who knows, some people even think she might turn good in Descendants 3. We'll just have to wait and see, but for now, we're totally loving Uma as a mermaid. Plus, her gorgeous hair totally reminds us of the sea. Let's talk about Jane, aka the daughter of the fairy godmother. Her hair at the end of Sentence 2 seriously gave us mermaid vibes. Oh, and her dress too. We know that Jane would be the kind-hearted mermaid who helps all the little fish. <laughs> so cute. Guys, comment down below if you want a fishy best friend. Last but not least, we have Mal, the daughter of Maleficent. When we saw Descendants Under the Sea, we just had to see how the Descendants cast would look like as mermaids. Plus, Mal pretty much looked like a mermaid. Okay, so I can totally see Mal looking like a dragon-y type of mermaid, don't you? Um, yes. <laughs> like a mermaid who can also breathe fire. Totally. Also, her green eyes look amazing underwater. <laughs> That's it for now, dreamers. Want more mashups? Tell us in the comments below. And subscribe and click the bell so that you never miss an episode. <laughs> yeah, we got new ones every Tuesday and Thursday. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye, dreamers. Keep on dreaming. What's up, dreamers? We have an awesome versus for you guys today. But we're gonna have a tough time deciding because it's two of our favorites. That's right, today we're versing Descendants and Zombies, the music. Oh no, I knew this day would come. It's going to be too hard. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna need your help. So make sure you guys let us know in the comments below what you think. Well, we better get to it. Descendants versus Zombies music starts now. Our first versus today starts with My Year from Disney Zombies. This is such a good song, where they're on their way to their first day of school and how this is gonna be an awesome year. It's so catchy, and I will def be singing this when I go back to school this year. <gasps> OMG, I need to see you do that. <laughs> and maybe we can upload it to Dream Mining. Let us know in the comments if you wanna see that. <laughs> and My Year is going up against Belief from Descendants. This is a great song. But I think the best part about this song is who sings it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> We're talking about Shawn Mendes, of course. He could sing anything and it would sound good. Hey, maybe he could be in that video with you. <laughs> Let us know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> and because of Shawn Mendes, we have to give this one to Believe. Next up, we have Bam from Zombies. This song tells us about how humans and zombies aren't that different. And they do the awesome move, the draggy leg. Such a good move. I can really see you doing that one. Yeah, I just, I'm gonna need some practice though. <laughs> and today, Bam is versus Ways to Be Wicked from Descendants 2. Now this is a good song, even though they're singing about being bad. Yeah, it might be bad, but it sounds so good. So we're giving this
Miss Wan to Ways to be Wicked and Descendants. Up next, we start with Fired Up from Zombies. <laughs> this song is talking about how excited everybody is for the cheerleading tryouts. OMG, I listened to this song and it really, really fires me up. <laughs> did you know I did a backflip the first time I heard this song? You did? Well, in my head. But it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and this fiery song is going up against What's My Name from Descendants 2. I love this song, and it's Uma's shining moment. Well, we're not sure who to give this one to, guys. It's too tough. So comment down below what team you guys are on. Next up, we have Someday from Zombies. This duet has Zed and Addison singing about if their love could ever exist someday in the future. It is literally so sweet and their voices sound amazing together. I get the chills just thinking about their harmonies. Look! <laughs> OMG, wow! <laughs> and Someday is versing If Only from Descendants. This is the moment Dove Cameron was born for. <laughs> Her voice sounds amazing and I sing this song all the time to myself. This is such a tough one, OMG. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, you guys comment down below who you think won this versus. Yeah, because I think we're going with Someday from Zombies. Our last versus today is going to be another hard one. We're putting together two of my personal favorites. First is Our Year from Zombies. This is the final song and it really brings everything together. Yeah, instead of saying my year, they sing our year and it shows how much everyone has really come together. Oh, that's so sweet. And this verses is with Rotten to the Core from Descendants. The baddies sing about how they're rotten right down to the core. It's so good and probably the most popular song from Descendants. This is gonna be another hard one. But we're giving this one to Our Year and Zombies because we just love the positive message. What's going on, everybody? I hope you guys had a good summer. I know that we sure have. And today we're doing another mashup. It's two of our favorites, MLP and Descendants. These two are like a perfect summer ice cream. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, let's get to it so we can all eat some ice cream after. MLP and Descendants 2 starts now. For our first match today, we have Uma from Descendants 2. Uma is the daughter of Ursula and is the leader of a bunch of pirates. She tells everyone that she is the new queen of the Isle of the Lost. Her fashion choices are very piratey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's always rocking that pirate hat. Which is why we're matching her with Applejack. Applejack is super honest and is always good for a funny catchphrase. Yeah, she's so funny when she says them in her southern accent. She's a real cowgirl, or cow pony. I don't know, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and she's always found with a cowboy hat on, just like Uma. Which is why this mashup is Oople Jam. Our next match begins with Evie. Evie comes back in Descendants 2 and is just as friendly and beautiful as ever. As we all know, she is very into fashion and in Descendants 2, she starts her own clothing brand called Evie's for Hearts. Yeah, she may be the daughter of the evil queen, but her fashion styles are so good. Oh yeah, I wish she could design me some clothes. Same. <laughs> Evie's match today is Fluttershy. Fluttershy is the yellow and pink pony who can be a little shy sometimes just like her name says. She is very loyal to her friends and will break out of her shell if she needs to help out. Yeah, she's also considered the most kind pony of them all, which is why she's a great match with Evie. Yeah, they're both so kind. So this nice pair is Evie Shy. Coming up right now is Harry Hook. Harry is the son of Captain Hook and is a little bit on the wild side. Yeah, he is super brash and likes to be unpredictable. This right hand man for Uma is always the most confident person in the room and always has something to say, which is why we think the best match is with Rainbow Dash. RD is also very brash and super confident. RD is an amazing flyer and the most competitive of all the ponies. So, I mean, it's like RD and Harry Hook are the same person. <laughs> this confident couple is Rainbow Hook. Next up, we start with Mal, the purple haired villain kid in Descendants 2. But she actually has blonde hair in the sequel and it looks awesome. Yeah, she's dealing with her life as a villain kid and her friendship slash relationship with Ben. Yeah, she is deaf on the fence about some things in her life right now. We want to mash her up with Rarity. We have wanted to mash these two for so long because of that sick purple hair. These two both have the best hair, even though Mal is blonde for a little bit in D2. <laughs> it makes me want to dye my hair purple. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> this purple pair is Melody. For our final match 
today we will start with Prince Ben. Or should we say King Ben? Cause in D2, he is the reigning king. He's trying to figure out what he and Mal are. Will they? Won't they? Will they? Won't they? Well, of course <laughs> all of you real fans know what happens in the end of D2. And what better pony to match with this royal than Twilight Princess Sparkle? Princess Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> True. <laughs> Just like Ben, she is the leader and is loyal to those around her. She has the burden of having everyone look to her for answers, but this princess always makes the right call. This royal pair is Twive as Sparkle. Well, that's it for us streamers. We hope you guys had fun. Make sure to follow us on all our social media. And subscribe and click that bell so that you never miss any dream hunting fun. Okay, now let's go get that ice cream. Oh, I almost forgot. I never forget about ice cream. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.